Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What does a purchase agreement look like? When you're diving into the world of buying property, prepare to encounter the mighty purchase agreement. This document is no ordinary paper. It's the blueprint of your property buying journey. Imagine it as the recipe for your favorite dish, where every ingredient is crucial. A purchase agreement outlines the terms of a real estate transaction. It's the legal handshake that says, yes, I agree to buy this property under these conditions. But what's actually in it? Let's break down the key ingredients. Firstly, it identifies the buyer and seller. Just like knowing who's coming to dinner is vital, knowing who's in the deal is essential. Next, it describes the property in detail. It's not just a house or a plot of land. It's the stage for your future memories. So every nook and cranny is listed. The offering price is there too. It's the number that makes both parties nod or shake their heads. The agreement includes earnest money details. This is the good faith deposit that says, I'm serious about this. It also has contingencies, those just-in-case clauses for financing, inspections, and other ifs and buts. Closing dates and possession details are in there, setting the timeline for the big move. And let's not forget the signatures. Without those, it's like a cake without frosting. Incomplete. A purchase agreement is a tailored suit, fitting the unique needs of the buyer and seller. It's not one-size-fits-all, and it's certainly not a handshake deal scribbled on a napkin. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.